With only four weeks to go until the summer transfer window closes, Manchester United still have a lot more to do. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer still wants that new centre-back, still wants two new central midfield signings. And now that United have gone out and started their pre-season tour, it becomes a little bit more difficult for new signings and certainly for new signings to settle in. But what is the latest update on Harry Maguire, on Bruno Fernandes and on Sean Longstaff? Could we sign all three of them this week? I'm going to run through all of that. Now, before I begin, this video is sponsored by Unibet, who are supporting United People's TV this summer. If you haven't seen it, there's a fantastic blog that they have got loads of United content on there. There'll be an article on there today from me, actually, that I wrote on three potential alternatives to Harry Maguire. I'll talk about that bit later on. But make sure you follow the link in the description. Go over there. There's lots of transfer news breaking on that Unibet blog. And as I said, some original content too. So make sure you check it out. But let's get straight into this one. Where else can you start, really, than with Harry Maguire? Now, Man United have had a 70 mil bid rejected by Leicester City for Harry Maguire. Every club's going to reject the first one, but that is a major, major offer that we did for Maguire. It wasn't just like a little one on the side. 70 million is a huge offer, but they didn't want to accept it, understandably. It sounds like they want more towards 80, 90 million pounds, which is a phenomenal amount of money. Now, interestingly, Sam Cunningham from The Independent says that Maguire has told Leicester that he wants to leave. Now, if that happens, that's a big plus for United. It helps with our negotiations because if Maguire wants to move, Leicester know they can't just sit there and ignore the offers because they don't want a player there that doesn't want to be at the club. How much would that offer need to be? I'm not sure, but I'd be very, very surprised if United didn't go in with a second offer this week for Maguire. The first one, 70 mil was rejected. So by logic, if Leicester want 90, United will go back in at 80 million and it would make Maguire more expensive than Virgil van Dijk. I've already had my say on Maguire and whether I feel he'd be worth that money. There'll be a link popping up now. I don't really feel he'd be worth that much money, but I feel he'd improve United massively. And as I said, I'd be very surprised if United didn't go aggressively for Maguire this week. Moving a little bit slower than Wan-Bissaka because we got a bid rejected 40 million for Wan-Bissaka. Went back in a week later, a few days after that, the deal was done. Now, United need to do the same with Maguire if we want to try and get him in as soon as possible. But after last week's bid was rejected, you'd be surprised if United didn't go back in this week for another one if we really are serious about signing him. But if we're not, who could we sign? As I said, I've written an article that's going on the Unibet website. There'll be a link in the description. And it's going to be about three potential alternatives to Maguire that United should be looking at if we, if, you know, if Maguire's too much for that player. Go over and read that and let me know what you think in the comments about three, about any potential alternatives you think we should be looking at if the Maguire deal does fall through. Now, you'll remember I did a video last week saying that last week was a major transfer week for United as well, and that's because it was, but because there's only four weeks now until the transfer window closes, every week's gonna become even more important for United to get the deals done, and last week, it was supposed to be Bruno Fernandes and Sean Longstaff. But what has happened there? With Bruno Fernandes, it's stagnated a little bit because it's dragged a lot this summer. It really has. It feels like a Nicholas Gaetan sort of transfer saga. What was more of a saga, or is more of a saga, Delict or Fernandes? They're both as painful as each other. But something that has progressed, I suppose, is, I mean, you remember I said that all the noise about Bruno Fernandes United was coming from the Portuguese and the Italian press, the British press, weren't saying too much. That's not the case anymore. The British press have jumped on board the Bruno Fernandes to United bandwagon. That train is moving, and it seems to be moving in the right direction. His agent was in London last week to discuss initial offers, and that's the point where United fans want to get to this week. We need to submit an official bid for Bruno Fernandes and get that ball rolling. Because who knows, if we offer the right amount, it could be a very easily done transfer deal. Maybe not, but there are separate reports from Portugal suggesting that if Sporting Lisbon reject an offer in excess of 35 million euros, that they'll physically have to pay 5 million to Bruno Fernandes. That's a very interesting clause if he's managed to work that into his contract. But I feel that Sporting Lisbon are puffing their chest out, trying to say, oh, look, he's worth X amount of money, when he really isn't. I don't think he's worth 70 million. I don't think United think he's worth 70 million. But a bid in the region of 50, I would 
I'm not involved in negotiations, so from looking at the outside in, that's a lot of money. And I feel the sporting would accept. Now, I want to see some movement, massive movement. I want a second Maguire bid this week if United are serious about signing him. I want an official bid to go in for Bruno Fernandes. And the same goes for Sean Longstaff, if we really are after him. Because for all the reports about Longstaff being a target for United for that Solskjaer feels he can develop at the club, there's been no official bid yet. And it's not as if Longstaff's in the best of scenarios at Newcastle. Benitez has just left for China because Mike Ashley won't cough up any sort of money for new signings. And it's not a good place for a young player like Longstaff to be. Whether he's good enough for United, I don't know. I'm not the scouts. I'm not the one looking at the data and realising whether he's got the potential to become a much better player at United. But because we're after him, that's exactly what our data is telling Solskjaer and Carrick, because it was Carrick who recommended him. Now, I think a bid in the region of 20 to 25 million would secure Longstaff. But apparently, Newcastle want more than the 50 million than United pay Crystal Palace for Aaron Wan-Bissaka. <laughs> now, this is funny because it's absolutely ridiculous, but it also sums up a problem that United have. Everybody knows that we've got the cash. When United come in, there's a separate little add-on that goes onto the price of any player. We're seeing that with Maguire, we're seeing that with Fernandez, and maybe we're going to see it as well with Longstaff. I don't know how much the value of a youngster like Longstaff is, but it's certainly not Aaron wan bissaka money. And I think 20 to 25 would be a more than reasonable amount. That's probably way too much, really, when you think about it. He's only played like for a couple of months in the Premier League. But it is what it is. In the same week that Aston Villa are paying 25 million for Tyro Mings, I think 20 million would be more than enough for Longstaff. But again, like Fernandez, United need to go in and make an official bid and start making some moves this week because time is running out. It really is. With four weeks left in this summer transfer window, Man United still need that new centre-back. Whether that's Harry Maguire or not, I don't know. We still need, I would say, two at least central midfielders. And that's even if Paul Popper leaves. That's another midfielder we need. And what about Romelu Lukaku? That's a striker that he's replacing. What about Alexis Sanchez leaving? Mateo Darmian? Marcus Rojo? So much more to do in this summer transfer window. When it comes to player sales, United have a bit more time on their hands because the La Liga transfer window doesn't close until September or 2nd of September. Same goes for the Bundesliga Serie A, 23rd of August. It's only the English Premier League transfer window that closes on the 8th. Literally a month from today. So the focus right now for the club is clearly on completing these signings. But with time running out, four weeks, we've got to move hard and fast for Bruno Fernandes and Sean Longstaff if we want to just get them in as soon as possible rather than signing them two days before the transfer window closes, a week before the Premier League starts, and a player won't be settled into his new surroundings. We need to do that. We need to move fast. And I think if we're going to get Maguire, Fernandes and Longstaff maybe this week, we've got to go aggressive and quickly. Otherwise, we're going to be left waiting right until the end of the transfer window. And I don't want a deadline day panic at United anymore. I'm bored of them. I want to go back to the Fergie days where you can sit on transfer deadline day with your feet up and point and laugh at other clubs because you've already secured your signings. Now, I don't think United will do that, but I live in hope. But this week, every week gets more and more important for United. With every week that passes and no transfers happen, less time exists. And we've got to move fast because it's not one signing we're trying to secure. It's not two signings. It's at least three. It could be four or five if Popper and Lukaku leave. United need to buck up and start moving quicker. We like to dither. We dither with wan Saka because of tough negotiations. We took quite a long time with Dan James as well. Sadly, his father passed away during the negotiations, which delayed it. That's nothing to do with the club. But with Maguire, with Fernandes and with Longstaff, if United want all three of them, let's see some movement this week and let's see an aggressive move by United to get our transfers over the line. Let me know what you think about this week coming up for United. What are you expecting? Are you expecting any new signings to be confirmed? Or do you think we're going to be sat empty-handed again and frustrated at the lack of time that we've got left in this summer transfer window? Let me know what you think about that in the comments below, as always. If you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe. Till next time, take it easy.